a crowd of 10,000 for the CIF state finals. As we move on now to the girls, 400 meters. Could be one of the day's best races. National mark has been broken by two athletes in this race in the last three weeks. There's your lineup. Denisha Sanford, Morningside in one. Takara Pennick, Berkeley in two. Ashley Brown, JW North in three. Maggie Vesey, Sokol in four. And then your big guns, Monique Anderson from Morse in five. Angel Perkins from Gar in six. Aaron Reed from Taft. Nicole Gaskins, Diamond Bar, and Sherry Craddock from James Logan. Well, Jim, you can tell there's a buzz in the crowd, and money is starting to be passed back and forth up here, and we know it's a big race then. And the reason why the money is being passed back and forth is because some are putting it on this girl, Monique Henderson, who is going to bid to become the third person in California state history to win three consecutive 400-meter state titles. And as we get to this, you've got to understand that she is the National Federation record holder. We went through this where Nicole Demby broke the National Federation record in the, uh, the two races ago. And this girl is the National Federation record holder in the 400 with her brilliant 5131. Now she's going up against Angel Perkins, and you can always spot Angel, Angel Perkins, excuse me, by the socks. She wears those quarter length socks. Angel Perkins held the previous National Federation record of 5228, and Angel Perkins beat Monet Henderson at Arcadia. So the money is passing back and forth up here because this is going to be a big one. This is what everybody's waiting here for, and we're likely to see the National Federation record go, although I think Denise Howard's record that she set at the Olympic trials is probably too tough to get, but this is going to be a great race and one that I think everybody in this crowd is holding their breath for. Monique Anderson, two-time state champion and with the current record of 51-31. Angel Perkins had that national record for what, about seven days? It's amazing. I mean, rarely have you had the opportunity to have two greats like this. The best thing about it is they're both coming back next year. You know, it's great enough to see them in this kind of environment like this, but the opportunity to see them come back the next year. And Angel Perkins, of course, has shown brilliant form this year. She has moved up to the 100 and 200, where she made the state finals in both last year's ninth grader, to move up to the 200 and 400. So, the, the uh, uh, piece de resistance will be the 200 later today when we get both of these there. And history being made before this race even starts, or I guess as soon as they take the first step, and that is for the first time in 32 years, we have two national record holders, at least two girls who have set national records in the same year, in the same race, on the same track, at the same time. And if you ever wonder, a lot of people from Texas will tell you their state meets better. Hey, if the Texas people could come here to California and see the kind of talent that California has every year, they would never make that statement. They come out with a football team every year and they find out. I mean, it's hard to break these records, Jim. Track and field's been around a long time, but to get as many national records as we've seen already this season is truly to show you the, the extent of the level of competition that we've had in the state this year. Bonnie Henderson, Morse, Lane 5, Angel Perkins from Gar in Lane 6. Everybody's eyes will be on this, on these two and their stopwatches. Perkins got the edge there on the start there, Jim. As you see, quickly she'll make up the stagger in lane seven on Aaron Reed, but Henderson's got it right in her sights, and that's where the action is, ladies and gentlemen. And a bit of an advantage for Henderson to have Perkins in front of her so she can see her the entire time and know the strategy, and here they come. One and two right now with about 200 meters to go. And you have to wonder whether Monique Henderson is making a mistake going out this fast for the first 200, unofficially 24 flat for the first 200. They're flying, Jim. Henderson and Perkins. Perkins and Henderson as they come off the curve and turn for home. And 10,000 people come to their feet. The girls 400. State final, 36, 7, and 300. We're going to see another national record here. And Monique Henderson's pulling away. Monique Henderson is breaking Angel Perkins. And we're going to see a fast one here today, folks. Meters. And I'll tell you something, right now, Monique Henderson will make the finals in the Olympic trials in this event. 
Monique Henderson will be a factor to make the U.S. Olympic team in this event. This is a brilliant performance. We have not seen a high schooler like this since the Howard sisters were running. A brilliant performance, officially 50.74. She took to that with a fist in the air, and everybody's still on their feet saluting the great effort. A new record, 50.74. Fantastic effort for Monique Henderson, a three-time state champion in the 400.